Good morning guys, welcome back to another makeup artist slash esthetician school vlog. I combined the two of them because I wasn't really sure what I'm gonna film today or be able to film for you guys today. It's currently 7.30 so I need to get my ass in gear here. Today I have school, it's currently Saturday. And I will tell you a little bit about how everything is going. I'm just gonna use some heat protectant. I've been using this Philip B thermal protection. Also smells really nice too. I love when hair products smell really nice. I'm gonna put this in my hair and let it sit while I do my makeup. And I will dry shampoo my tops of my hair too because it's about time to shower. This is the dry shampoo I use. I just use the Batiste Naturally collection. And this is the coconut milk and hemp one. I love it because it's pretty much like an invisible spray. I have really dark roots. So I need something that's not going to turn my hair white. I've already primed my face. I went in with this Kinship Self-Reflecting Rose. It's a probiotic moisturizing sunscreen with SPF 32. This is what it looks like. I've just been using it for a primer. So you get your sunscreen, you also get your moisturizer, and then it primes really well for makeup too. I feel like it's a win-win situation. I'll have the rest of the products that I use linked down below. As I was saying though, if you guys had checked out my esthetician school journey so far and the vlogs, the last time you talked to me, I was still in the class portion of the schooling. So for 10 weeks when you first enter into the school, you have to go through the classroom portion where you're in a legitimate classroom, pretty much just doing theory work, which is your book work. You take tests every single week over the chapters that you learned. And then um, you are able to bring in friends and family that you know um, that are models for you. You do services completely for free on them, kind of like a model call as a makeup artist while being monitored um, directly by the instructor. Now in the early half of February, that's when we tested out of the classroom and then went onto the floor, which the floor is where the spa services take place and then you're able to take paid clients. So now we are responsible for recruiting our own clients and then also taking walk-ins, but they are paid services so we do get to keep the tips. So we are pretty much responsible for our daily activities and making sure that we stay on track, doing what we need to do and keeping ourselves busy so we can get the amount of services that we need to get to be able to graduate. I've been pretty good at trying to recruit people. I actually have gotten to make appointments for a couple of my brides that are getting set up for regular facial appointments to get their skin ready for their wedding day. It's really solidifying my future goals because overall when I graduate from aesthetic school, I really want to open up my own studio and offer the esthetician services mainly focusing on facials, brow waxes, and any prep work that you would need to get your skin wedding ready and that's kind of the all-inclusive service that I want to create for my brides. That way we can build a relationship. If you think about it, being a makeup artist is solely relying on these one-time special events. Makeup is not something that people constantly go back to you for, like getting their hair cut or colored. So that's why I really want to expand my services into aesthetic services so people can not only get set up on regular facials, which ultimately benefits how the makeup's going to turn out, they're going to feel better about their skin, and then it also is a repetitive service for me and then hopefully even after the wedding I'll do such a good job that they'll just want to come back to me for either a facial or a massage or get their brows waxed on a constant basis. So that's what I'm thinking as far as my overall goal for what I want to do after I graduate and I have big goals for myself guys. It's really exciting to think about. <laughs> Since 2021 I feel like I've just been stagnant. I haven't really like fluctuated that much in my income but ultimately I think the reason I wasn't pushing myself harder is because I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Don't get me wrong I freaking love my job. I really do. But I'm one of those people that if I constantly do the same thing over and over and over again, it's so boring after a while. I need to have something different to do or something different to look forward to. I love to educate myself as all of you should as well as a makeup artist. I mean, makeup was the only thing I wanted to do. Like I really did not want to go into aesthetic school, but the only reason I did originally is because I need a license in the state of Indiana to practice it. But my God, this has been a blessing in disguise. Like it has been so, so fun. So yeah, I just really am enjoying the life that I'm living right now. I'm so motivated to create different things again. I feel like my creative juices are flowing. I've already started working on a online business course for makeup artists and I'm so freaking excited about it. Sorry, there is a hair that is sitting on my face and I cannot figure out where it is. That baby's probably not going to launch until a year or two from now. I know it's really early that I'm talking about this but I want to make it the best
best freaking business course that you've ever taken as a makeup artist. It's going to go over everything that you need to know. Kit building, how to set your prices, how to build clients, of course, how to build a social media profile and gain a presence so you have people take you more seriously, diversifying income, client management systems, booking procedures, pretty much everything that I ever did as a makeup artist, I am sharing with you guys. It's going to be way more in depth than any of my YouTube videos ever have been. I'm going to be walking you guys step by step and that's why it's going to take me a pretty decent amount of time to create that course and I graduate in school in August so I really won't be able to start until then. And then I'm also thinking about starting a podcast. That will be a little bit sooner. Like I am probably going to start that hopefully within the next couple of months I want to say. I'm not only talking business tips and stories as a makeup artist. I also wanted to bring on guest people but of course I'll leave the podcast like on a playlist on my YouTube channel too. If you want to watch it like in video format. I'm just really excited. I mean I was in a heavy heavy burnout period when I started school. When you're in a burnout stage or you feel yourself getting into a burnout stage you need to do something different. Change something in your life or change a factor of it. It doesn't have to be big like going to esthetician school or something but obviously something is not working in your life and that's why you're burning out. Ever since I've started school I've tried to eat better. I'm now trying to exercise a little bit more but that's been really tough to motivate myself I'm not gonna lie. I'm really struggling with it. I've been trying to do wall Pilates every morning. Um, I did not do it today, but I have kept up with it for the last week. I just got a little bit sidetracked. Okay, I'm so sorry the majority of this is just like me talking, but I promise you this is going to actually go into a vlog here soon. Okay, I think I should have done this from the start, but I just propped you up on a tissue box. <laughs> Anyways, I've been getting hired for all sorts of random appointments <laughs> recently, which I'm not complaining about. I've been hired for a military ball that is later this evening, so I'm really excited to do that. I've been getting wedding inquiries, which is fine. Like I've booked like six weddings this year so far, which is pretty good considering that I don't have any Saturday availability. So it's just Friday and Sunday weddings that I've been booking. Not gonna lie, um, the comparison game is real. I keep looking around at all these other makeup artists that have been in the game as long as I have, and they already have like 20 weddings or so booked for 2025, and I've only had one so far. And I'm like, oh my God, like how in the world? And my availability is open for 2025. Like I don't have any restrictions. I'll be out of school. So my books are open for 2025 and I don't know why I haven't been getting the 2025 inquiries. I've only gotten like four, I think. So yeah, I'm trying not to get super discouraged about that. But at the same time though, it's like, dang, like where are my 2025 brides? Oh, also I totally rebuilt a whole entire brand new website. I use WordPress by the way, in case anybody's wondering. I started over and built my website from scratch. Websites look like they're super easy to build until you get into the coding and plugins and everything. And it's like super techy and advanced sometimes, but I successfully accomplished it. I don't have it launched yet. It's going to be launching that website probably later in the fall of this year. My website currently just renewed in November. So if I were to cancel it now and have the other website go in its place, I would not be able to get that money back from the subscription that I paid for. And not to toot my own horn, but like that website turned out so freaking good. I'm so proud of it. And then at the time that it'll launch, I'll have a new pricing structure because I've been working on that too. Also it's 8.07. I need to like get my ass in here because I need to leave by like 8.15. And I still have the other half of my head to curl. I did a really short clip of my outfit of the day. I was wearing a black comfy workout jacket as well as some thermal leggings. And of course some tennis shoes because I had a very long day ahead of me and comfort is everything. Okay, I was like two seconds away from not grabbing my makeup kit for later. Uh, yikes. Bye guys. Oh my God, it's snowy. Oh, I forgot my husband drove my car yesterday. Oh, goodness. The seat wasn't correct. The rear view mirror wasn't set. Okay, officially headed to school now. Yep, I know it's below freezing, thank you. Trying to speed to class. The snow is actually really pretty and it's sunny today too, which I guess I'll just talk to you guys when I actually get to school. I got to school around 8.30 a.m., which was the perfect time for me to go ahead and clock in. We have to clock in by this fingerprint scanner. Then usually on Saturdays, we wait around at the spa to make sure that we have all of our appointments in for the day. I was supposed to have two appointments, but one of my appointments rescheduled the day before. So instead I grabbed one of these students and did a back facial on them at 9.30. Back facials are the same process that you do for regular facials, but on your back, it's amazing. Okay, right now I'm getting set up for a facial. Um, 
I'm trying to talk really quietly, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Got my table all made here. And this is the palette that we're gonna work off of and the two ramekins, exfoliator and also massage oil. Then brushes for the mask and the exfoliator and a bowl of water. Long story short, my day got really crazy and I totally forgot to record the rest of the day. Oh my gosh, guys, that was such a freaking busy day. So I really thought it was gonna be kind of chill. Had it totally open a couple of hours until 11.30 when my first facial appointment was supposed to take place. Well, I decided to do a back facial on somebody and then I went to go set up for the other facial the treatment room that I was going to take somebody else was occupying and then we all had to flip-flop rooms and it made it really hard to like set up myself in time to have the other client come in. I don't know. I just lost it guys. I felt like I constantly was running back and forth because I forgot something and it was so disruptive but my client didn't mind. Luckily, she was like very chill about it and then she ended up rebooking a facial with me and then she also booked a full body massage on the same day too. After I got done with the facial appointment, my instructor wanted me to wax her underarms. That went completely fine. We got started at 1.30 and needed to be done like pretty freaking quick, so I booked it. I did it in about 15 minutes. They usually take about a half hour. Very busy day. That was like the busiest day that I've had in a really long time. Not used to hustling like that anymore. And then now I have a little bit of time before I have to be at my appointment by three o'clock. For makeup, it's just one person that I'm doing. I'm running back home. I should have enough time to at least drink something because I feel like I need to chug water just to get something in my system and then I'll have to head out by 2 30. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Um, I know there hasn't been much like actual content. <laughs> Hopefully I will get like a before and after um, video for you if not just maybe like an after video. I don't know this person. Anyways uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you do like the video so far and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But anyways yeah um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later when I'm done with the appointment. down for me Oh my gosh, guys, I just got home and it went so freaking well. I might have a repeat client, I'm just saying. We did a cool tone, smoky eye sort of look with silver glitter and it turned out so good, oh my God. And you guys should have seen her dress for the gala. <sighs> I should have gotten a video of her in it. It was all black with silver sequins and it was like a mermaid style with um, like spaghetti straps, but they were all like crystals. I got a huge compliment from her though. I always like to ask people how they found me, just to see what advertisement strategies are working for me. She was looking for makeup artists and kept looking at their profiles and none of them really like suited her or she didn't think that she liked it enough. Um, she was about to give up and just do her own makeup, but she came across my Instagram and absolutely loved all of my work. And I felt so, so happy because she said that she's actually really picky about people who touch her hair and her makeup. It just really made me feel good as not only an artist, but a person. And we just really connected on a deeper level and she fully realized how much I was actually there for her and she was so grateful. Even though I have not taken care of myself all day, like literally it is 4.30 in the afternoon and I have not eaten today. I still wanted to provide for my clients. That just proves though that customer service does go a really long way and people do really notice if you go that extra step to make them feel good about themselves too. So I will probably just talk to you guys tomorrow because I have an appointment going on tomorrow and then that'll be about it for this weekend. Oh my goodness, I am so tired. <laughs> it was a little bit hard for me to fall asleep last night. So I was up for a pretty <laughs> long time yesterday. Luckily yesterday I packed all my stuff that I needed though for today's appointment. Today I have a photo shoot that I got hired for. I don't know if you guys do the same thing I do, but I always look people up on Facebook. <laughs> Call me a stalker or whatever, but like I always have to know what they look like or if I know them. I recognize the maiden name of this girl and she and I went to high school together. And obviously I don't have have my maiden name either so she wouldn't recognize me. We were never friends or anything, I just had her in classes. And then after that, um, I'm going to be going to my mom's house because she lives at a lake house now full time. She retired and moved to a lake house. So we always have to schedule times to see each other. Side note, the first thing I'm gonna do when I graduate from esthetician school, I think, is get my eyebrows re-microbladed again because it's been like three years now. I miss having the darkness of them because they're really fading. Okay, we have decided on a red lipstick today. I haven't really worn red since my wedding day pretty much, but I like it on me. Then we just have a simple turtleneck, which was very challenging to get over the red lipstick, by the way, because for some reason my brain was like, oh, let me apply lipstick first before putting on a turtleneck. 
We're good, we didn't smudge anything. So yeah, turtleneck jeans, and then I just have these knee-high boots. Yeah, that's what we're looking like, but it is about 8.30 and it is time to go. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot to tell you guys, but I got the sweetest message from the person that I did yesterday for the military ball. She texted me last night, sent me five different photos of her looking fabulous. Yeah, this is her, by the way. That is what she looks like. Okay, there's not like a full length one of her. So she said, thank you so much for making me feel and look so amazing. I can't even explain to you how I feel. And guys, oh, I love getting text messages like that. They are the sweetest and it just makes you feel really good as an artist when you have somebody like that who you've just made their day oh my gosh my neighbor's car cracked me up it must not have moved in a few days because there are icicles along the entire bottom of the car that are solidified to the ground should make it there at 8 51 supposed to be there at 9 perfect timing plus there is only street parking because it's downtown fort wayne not gonna lie downtown is not one of my favorite places to go i do not do well in the cities i hate one-way streets i'm very directionally challenged and i'm also not the best parallel parker uh yeah it doesn't really end well for me sometimes i just don't like downtown like it's just confusing as i'll get out oh and i hate parking garages oh my goodness i just feel claustrophobic in them i look back at the emails that the photographer and i exchanged with each other and this is actually for a maternity shoot so i feel like my red lipstick might be a bit much we're just gonna go with it so i will go ahead and talk to you guys when i'm done really fun fact i totally think my gps took me like one block too far i definitely walked all the way past where i was supposed to and couldn't figure out where the house was so now i'm walking a block back to my car but anyways the shoot went really well though um it was the girl that i went to high school it was the girl that i went to high school with which was really funny but what was really awkward though is she did not recognize me Okay, I wanted to switch to the actual camera now. I gotta figure out how to get back to the main road. I'm so directionally challenged, guys. I'm shocked that I even make it anywhere, honestly. So I do want to confirm that it definitely was the girl that I went to high school with, but I don't think she remembered me <laughs> or recognized me, which is completely fine. I kind of figured that that might happen. When I opened the door, I had my sunglasses on, and of course, you can't really tell what a person looks like when that happens. I opened the door, and she goes, hi, you must be Julia. I said, hi, and then I said her name. I think we went to high school together and I was pretending like I didn't already look her up on Facebook. So I took off my sunglasses and I was like, I'm Julie Kroll, which was my maiden name. So she goes, oh my gosh, that's too funny. Wow, she looks so much older. And I go, uh, is that a good thing? Like I genuinely was kind of like taken aback by it. I didn't expect that comment. To be fair though, I really think that I do look different than what I did in high school. So that's why I don't know if she thoroughly recognized me and she was just kind of taking my word for it. I'm just headed back home, dropping off my stuff. I'm not gonna be cleaning um any of my kit for right now um because i don't really have time to do so i gotta head to my mom's house although please continue to watch this though because i am going to be doing a uh, kit cleaning hey siri end the navigation ending navigation okay thank you that was getting to be a bit much anyways what i was saying though is that stay till the end of this video because i am actually going to be doing kit cleaning when i get home i will film that for you guys because i owe you guys one since i did not really have a lot of content to share. <laughs> Hello guys, I am back from my mom's house. I got back probably about a half hour ago, I would say. I'm going to be starting cleaning my kit. I apologize about the lack of lighting, by the way. I'm just purely going off of this window that's in the corner. I'm not going to be talking through this. I think I'm just going to make it a little montage with some music overlay, just so you guys don't get super bored. Um, if you guys want like a talk through of how I sanitize my makeup kit, I will go ahead and link a video up here for you guys. It includes everything you need to know about how to sanitize pencils, cream, creams, powders, everything. So go ahead and check that out.
got all my cleaning done and that's about it guys so again i'm so sorry that this video was not probably the most entertaining as my other vlogs are just because i didn't have a lot of content for you guys on site but i hope you guys still enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up as well as also subscribing down to my channel if you guys haven't already and as always i hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and i will talk to you guys in my next video all right bye